we know, Christina is absolutely... No, we don't know anything. We need to organize a search party for your sister. Don't bother. I'm right here. Oh, Christina. Where have you been? I'm going to yell at you later right now. Just don't wait. even, mother. What is going on? You, you disappear from... I, I almost had the FBI looking for you, and then you show up here without an explanation and without a hug. You're Shouldn't obviously... Should you get that? No. It I will let the voicemail important. pick up and... Would you please just lose the attitude? I don't deserve it. Really? This is Alexis Davis. You've reached my voicemail. Please leave a detailed message. Really? No client is more important to me than you are, and you know that. So important you'd do anything for me. Yo, hey, what's going on, Christina? Going on? I'd be the last to know. Well, it's just we haven't heard from you in ages. We thought you were swamped with papers and exams. Yeah, and I just called one of your roommates and they said that you left school weeks ago. True. You are old enough to drive and you are old enough to vote. But you cannot just leave school like that. You can't. Sorry, you're right. I didn't leave school. I quit. Ah, uh, what happened? That's crazy. I found out I didn't belong there. Well, we know this is your first time living away from home and that's a... Big adjustment. Yeah, and you started late. That makes it even harder to fit in. No, I fit in fine. I loved my classes, my roommates. I was having the time of my life. Okay, so why do you say you don't belong? Ask him. You'll notice he hasn't said much. It's a pattern with Dad. It means he's guilty. Of what? Pulling strings. Tell him, Daddy. Tell him I strong-armed Yale into taking a girl they didn't want. Christina, do you want to go for a walk so we can talk about this? I don't think we should drag your mother and your sisters into this. I think the family deserves to know what happened. Don't you? In fact, I'm instituting a new policy. Starting today, everything out in the open. Starting with the fact that Yale suddenly didn't have a vacancy and decided to reach out to a girl they originally rejected. You weren't rejected, you were on the wait list. Which is where I would have stayed, Molly, if he hadn't done something about it. God knows how many legs you had to break or how many people you had to threaten with car bombs. Enough! Let me admit now! You want to talk about the current situation, we'll talk about that. But don't bring up something in the past that hurt me. So, What's the problem with your school? My problem is I should have never been there in the first place. You forced Yale to enroll me. Uncle Sonny, is that true? I helped my daughter get into college. You know, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, think somebody's parents donated those science labs or put a word or two into the dean's ear about an IPO. That's what you... Don't jump on your mother. She was only trying to help you. We both were. See? She's as bad as he is. There is nothing wrong with using your influence to try to take care of the people that you care about. That's how the world works, Christina. And it's ridiculous for you to stand there, disrespect your parents, like this is some kind of tragedy. I'm Chris I'm Christina may be a little idealistic, but it's okay to want some answers. Yeah, and you totally deserve to get into Yale. You had above a 4.0. So did a lot of other kids who are waitlisted. But you're a, a terrific student, and you're a wonderful girl. And any school would have been proud to have you. Yale wasn't. But, but because they had so many good students and so few spots, we were just trying to improve the odds. What happened to all those lectures about ethics and principles? About not compromising yourself? Is it all supposed to not count just as long as Dad's doing the compromising? What would you have done if he hadn't been a mob boss? How would you have forced Yale to take me then? Christina. I'm just out of curiosity. What'd you care about more, getting me into your alma mater, just getting me away from Ethan? I wanted you to have the benefit of a first-class education. As opposed to interning for Kate at Crimson. I thought you would get further in fashion or anything else if you had a college degree. Maybe you're just trying to get me away from my father. Trying to keep me out of the line of fire. Do you fire? expect your mom to, to, to apologize for trying to keep you safe? I just want a truthful answer. For once. So what was it, Mom? What part of my life are you trying to control? Or was it all of the above? Christina. If you'd wanted to stay here, hang around Ethan, be an intern at Crimson, we'd be having a different conversation right now. But that's not what happened. You chose to go to Yale. 
And you strong-armed a school into admitting me in the middle of the term so you and Mom could get me out of town. All right, well, look, Christina, I don't really think that's fair. I mean, sure, maybe you don't like Uncle Sonny's methods or that Mom went along with it, but they were just trying to make your dream come true. They made me look like a fool. I waltz in there in the middle of the year all proud of myself because I think I had the scores, the grades. No. I'm there because my father threatened somebody. Well, what makes you think that? This girl who I knew worked in work study in the dean's office and overheard them talking about me. It was all over campus in over half an hour. He started calling me mob princess. Nobody would study with me. Nobody would return my texts. And if I walked into class, he just stared at me. And I felt like a freak. Honey. Honey, I'm so sorry. You ruined my life. Both of you. Hey, hey, look at. I think we all understand that this was really important to you, but like, if, if, if Yale was something you wanted, why didn't you tough it out and prove them all wrong? Look, I know you have no problem being married to the mob, but I'm not you. I don't appreciate being made a laughing stock. So I quit. Weeks ago, according to your roommate. Where did you go? It's me and asked if I wanted to talk about it. He? He who? the library. He's a grad student living off campus. Mmm, my grad student. And instead of being a jackass like most of the guys I met, he was nice. How nice? Very nice. He knew what I came from, what I was going through. Is that where you've been these last few weeks, Christina? With this, uh, uh grad student? Huh? We were working on something. Yeah, I bet you were. A very important project. What kind of a project? A family project. Oh, God. Are you pregnant, too? Tell me you're not pregnant. Please. When I get pregnant, it will be on purpose. And with someone I love. Is she pregnant? No. No. When it happens, I wanted to be like Sam. She waited for Jason, and now they have everything they want. I think it's so great that you're having a baby. You and Jason must be so happy. Christina. Uh -huh. Um, so if you're not pregnant, what's this family project? Just what it sounds like. A project that involves the whole family. Ours and yours. Be specific, Christina. The grad student I mentioned, he's in media studies. He's had a new idea for a great new reality show. A reality show? About us? With me as a star. It's called Mob Princess. Could it be any more perfect?